Hi, I'm Ben from Ben and Jerry's. Uh, I've been doing this demonstration to show how much money our government is spending on the military versus uh, how much other countries are spending on their military and versus how much money our government is spending on social and human, human needs. It helps us to see uh, in comparative terms how much we're spending on all this stuff. So the reality is that, uh, you know, the U.S. spends around $700 billion to a $1 trillion a year on national security. Uh, that would include the Department of Defense, uh, the Homeland Security, uh, the Veterans Administration, uh, retirement benefits for the military, ongoing health care for people that get injured in military wars, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, if you just take the lower number, uh, how much we're spending on the Department of Defense and the so-called Overseas Contingency Fund, which is supposed to pay over and above for any wars that we might be involved in. It's about 700 billion. And in comparison to that, uh, the country that spends the next most that we deem as a potential adversary is China at about 120 billion. So right there, it's about we spend about five times more than the next highest spending potential adversary. And uh, obviously, we, why should we need to spend so much more money than the other guys are spending in order to defend ourselves? And then you take a look at how we could have spent that money on other stuff and you realize that for 15% of the U.S. military budget, we could fully fund uh, child health care. We could fully fund our educational needs. We could uh, spend enough money to prevent preventable disease amongst children and starvation amongst children all over the world. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people think that would be, uh, go a lot further toward preventing terrorism, uh, because even as George Bush said, poverty is the breeding grounds of terrorism. So what this Oreo demonstration shows is that we have enough money. Having enough money is not the issue. It's where we choose to spend the money. And once we shift just a small proportion, 15% of the Pentagon budget into social needs, all of a sudden all our social needs are met. So there you have it. Uh, we've got the money. We just need to put it in the right places.